Hello and welcome to Treat Your Feet, the dancer's guide to relieve, eliminate, and prevent foot pain. In this instructional video, you'll discover proven techniques that will help you overcome many of the foot pain problems dancers face. If you've ever noticed your technique suffering because of foot pain, if you've ever had to sit out of a once in a lifetime workshop because your feet just wouldn't carry you any longer, or if you've ever had to cancel a performance because you're recovering from an injury or a surgery, this information is for you. I'm Dr. Vicki Goff, the doctor for dancers, and not only am I a chiropractor with the skills and ne knowledge necessary to help you overcome your painful problems, but I'm also a belly dancer too in the performing troupe Tandava Tribal Belly Dance. Because I'm both a doctor and a dancer, I understand fully how a dancer moves, the passion that she has for her art, and the determination she has to get on the dance floor no matter what pro problem she has to overcome. In fact, one month ago I injured my knee, and one week ago I injured my ankle. Five days after the ankle injury, I was back on the dance floor. I want to help you overcome your issues as well so that you can get back to your passion. Now before I explain these exercises, do keep in mind the kind of results you can expect. Just like any exercise that you would do at the gym, if you only go to the gym every once in a long while, you're not going to see great results. Same are true with these exercises. You have to do them repetitively. But if you make it a habit, you'll be well on your way to dancing the night away pain free. If you have any injuries or medical conditions, please consult your chiropractor to see if there are any changes that need to be made to the following exercises to be best for your particular situation. If any of these exercises become painful or uncomfortable, stop and rest for five minutes. If at the end of the five minutes you feel fine, try again with a little less intensity. If after five minutes of rest you're still hurting, stop the exercise completely and again consult your chiropractor to see if any adjustments need to be made. Now without further ado, let's discover how to treat your feet. So our first exercise is a calf stretch. Many dancers spend a lot of movements up on the balls of their feet. Over time, this shortens the calf muscle which pulls on the heel and can affect the mechanics of the foot. That leads to a lot of foot pain later on, so we're going to do a stretch to help relieve that extra calf tension. For this exercise, stand straight up, place your hands on your hips. We're going to stretch the right leg first. I want you to take a nice step straight backwards. You can change the position of your feet if you need to, to stay stable. I like to keep my front foot a little angled out. That keeps me nice and stable and keeps me from tipping over. So from the side, standing straight with your feet underneath your hips, hands on your hips, step straight back with that right foot. Now once you're here, press your right heel towards the floor. That should get you a nice stretch along the back of your calf. Hold this stretch for 10 seconds, then relax and step back to center. Do the same with your left foot. Step straight back, press your heel down, and hold for 10 seconds and relax. Doing one stretch on each side is a full repetition. Doing th do three repetitions to make a set and do three sets a day. Now another variation of this calf stretch is great if you're a little extra limber and this version doesn't get you a good stretch. For this version you need a wall. But we're going to stretch the left calf first because that's the side that's closest to the wall today. Plus, place the ball of your foot against the wall with your heel on the floor. To get there, you may need to bend the other side just a little bit so you can get your foot placed. Stand up straight and move towards the wall. Again, you should feel a good stretch on the back of your calf. You may even feel a stretch up into your hamstrings. Just like before, hold this stretch for 10 seconds, then relax and do the same on the other side. And again, three stretches per side makes a full set and do three sets a day. Our next exercise will stretch out the soles of our feet. Again, dancing on our toes tends to overstretch this area. Now, this is where plantar fasciitis pain comes in. It, there are other issues that come along with overstretched soles as well. Plantar fasciitis is the most well-known one. For this stretch, you're going to need a ball. I like to use this spiked massage ball. Um, you can get these at my office for about $6. You can find them other places as well. If you can't find one of these, a golf ball will work also but that won't be quite as effective as the spiked balls. These spiked balls apply a little bit extra pressure and really help to work out the small knots in the soles of your feet. 
So what you're going to do is find a chair that you can place your feet flat on the floor comfortably. Uh, you could also be on the side of your bed if that works great for you too. Take your ball, place it on the floor in front of you, and place the foot that you're going to work with first on top of the ball. Now apply enough pressure that's comfortable. You don't want to have it so much that it's painful, but you do want to feel a nice stretch. Now start rolling your foot across the ball from heel to toe, then back toe to heel. Try not to let the ball get too far away from you. You don't want to chase it around, otherwise the dog will chase after it for you. You want to work the sole of your foot slowly, and you'll do this for about five minutes. Work out the entire sole of the foot, right side to left side, again applying as much pressure as is comfortable for you. Sometimes you may need to adjust the position of the ball, but try to keep it fairly well underneath of you. After five minutes, stop, switch sides, and work out the other foot for another five minutes. Do this exercise at least three times a day. You can do it more. Um, a lot of people will actually take these balls with them to work and kick off their shoes at the desk or at a meeting and work on it there where no one really knows that their shoes are off. Uh, this is also a great one to do while you're sitting at the breakfast table, sitting on the couch watching TV, or, or at the side of the bed before you go to sleep. Your next exercise will help strengthen the muscles that hold up the arch of your foot. Again, being on toe overstretches these muscles and doesn't engage them, it doesn't work them out. That makes them become weaker over time, which allows your arch to start falling. This causes flat feet and a world of other associated problems as well. If you're a woman who wears high heels frequently, you're going to experience the same problems. And if you're combining belly dance and wearing high heels most days, this exercise will be especially good for you. For this one, again, find that nice place to sit where you can place both feet flat on the floor comfortably and find a hand towel. With the foot that you're going to start exercising first, I'll use my right one, place your toe on the towel. You want to pull this front part of your foot towards the back part of your foot through the highest point of your arch. Lift up through here to pull that towel towards you. Relax and pull up again. Continue this way until you get to the end of the towel. Continue to pull up through the center, highest point of your arch, and relax. You'll probably feel a burn in your ankle or in the front part of your shin. That's normal. Those are actually the muscles that help hold up that arch from the top side too. Then there's also the muscles that hold up the arch on the underneath side. Both are getting a workout in this exercise. Now what I tend to see people do if they do this incorrectly is they will leave their foot flat and just keep scrunching their toes. They're not engaging the arch at all. That's not what you want to do. You want to focus on pulling up through the arch to drag that towel. And pull up through the arch. After you get to the end of the towel, you're going to work long end to long end. Once you get to the end of it, switch feet and do the same thing on the other side. Repeat this exercise three times a day and you'll be well on your way to building up some strong arches. Now before I move on to the last exercise, I want to address the question that I know a lot of you have right now. You're wondering, great, these exercises are fantastic for my feet, but what about my other issues that are affecting my dancing too? I've got knee pain, back pain, my shoulders don't move like they're supposed to, my neck doesn't let me do a body roll. Getting help for your specific problem is just a click away. Follow the link below and you'll be able to sign up for a complimentary consultation with me. In half an hour you'll be able to tell me all about the problems that you're having and you'll walk away with the next simple step to get back to your dancing dreams. For our last exercise you're going to need a small round object about an inch in diameter. You could use a marble or a large jingle bell if you have one or you could borrow your kid's bouncy ball. You could use a cat toy, but be prepared for the cat to think you're playing and attack your feet. Uh, I'm going to be using a role-playing die. This is a 20-sided die. You could also use a 12-sided die. Um, find your local nerd or your local uh, hobby shop. They'll probably have these in droves. So for this exercise, place your round object on the floor. 
and you're going to take the foot that you'll work with, place it over top of the round object. I'm going to call it a ball from here on out. Squeeze together to where you pick up the ball, set it down to the side, and place your foot back where it is. While you're doing this exercise, keep your heel in the same spot. Don't let your heel move around. Now when you pick up the ball, you're going to be picking it up in between the ball of your foot and your toes. Right there. This is another one that helps strengthen the muscles that control the foot. So again, ball on the floor. Place your foot over top of it. Pick up the ball. Swivel over with your heel planted. Set it down. Go back to set. Go back over here. Try not to let that ball get away from you. Go back over here, pick it up, switch it over to the other side, set it down, place your foot back in center. One more time. Swivel over, pick up your ball, swivel to the other side, set it down, go back to center. This exercise is a little better to do on the carpet so that your ball doesn't keep rolling away from you. Uh, you can also set down a towel or a blanket, something to where the ball won't keep rolling. Again, once you finish this exercise, after three minutes, switch to the other side and repeat it for another three. Do that three minutes each side, at least three times a day. Thank you for watching Treat Your Feet, the dancer's guide to relieve, eliminate, and prevent foot pain. With the exercises you've learned today, you'll be well on your way to dancing the night away pain-free. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at the phone number or email in the description below. Again, I'm Dr. Vicki Goff, the doctor for dancers, wishing you health, shimmies, and happiness. Thank you.